the, uh, the one thing that uh, Preet and, and Mort and I learned is uh, we're bringing our speeches up here. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I apologize, I've got kind of a bum arm and right now, and so I'm gonna use these index cards as best I can, but thank you for that generous introduction. I, I'm here to introduce Mort Zuckerman, not myself. And uh, Mort and I and Preet and others uh, would much prefer others get the accolades, and that was, those remarks were too kind. I met Mort in 2001 when I moved here to New York City to start the Yes Network, and uh, he's been my friend from that very first month, actually. I met him at our clubhouse called The Four Seasons, and he, uh, he, I knew who he was, and uh, I walked up and introduced myself, and, and this remarkable man has been a friend ever since. Uh, we know him for all kinds of accomplishments. He certainly is the chairman and editor-in-chief. I think we had earlier a, a, a picture of the Daily News. Uh, he's editor-in-chief of the U.S. News and World Report, chairman and publisher of the New York Daily News, co-founder co and chairman of Boston Properties. And among so many prominent positions, he's a trustee of Memorial Sloan Kettering. All of us have it on speed dial. He's a member of the Washington Institute for North, North, Near East Studies, the International Institute of Strategic Studies, the Bipartisan Policy Center, and the International Peace Institute. He's also the esteemed former chairman with great, great distinction of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. He served with similar distinction as president of the American Israel Friendship League and educated, as many of us were, in liberal arts, he then went on to the do the double. He's, the, he's a great lawyer, a profound businessman. He's received seven honorary degrees. I was so grateful for the one real one that I received. That, uh, <laughs> uh, how many is seven, Morton? I think that's more than I have on hands tonight. Uh, it, which is, and the, the, these next two are very big deals. Uh, I had to look him up because I didn't understand them, but they're very big deals. He's uh, been named by the government of France, uh, his beloved France, as a commander of the Order of Arts and Letters, and by the Canadian government, his home country, a recipient of the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal. And in all sincerity, these are just profound awards for a profound man. And yet, despite, <laughs> despite, all of these accomplishments, the kind of accomplishments that rival many of us in this room and in this city, and despite those accolades, the reason we're here this evening is because some people come into our lives and quietly go away. Others, like my friend Mort Zuckerman, stay for a while, and they leave footprints in our hearts and in our nation, and we're never the same, never the same because of it. Mort is, very simply, an extraordinary father, an extraordinary citizen, an extraordinary corporate leader, and a philanthropist like no other in this room. What distinguishes Mort from most other major company CEOs is an abiding, faith-based sense of equal and concurrent responsibility to his employees, to his shareholders, to his communities, and to our beloved nation. He is renowned, renowned for a benevolent style of management, and as General Eric Shinseki said upon his forced retirement in 2003, you must love those you lead before you can become an effective leader. And Mort loves those women and men whom he has the privilege of leading. I knew John Gardner from 1971 until his passing, and John would not want us to recognize Mort as the 2016 John Gardner Lifetime Award recipient, only because of his diligent, thoughtful, and very ethical hand on some of the major tillers of corporate America. No, John would have wanted us to hark back to his founding of Common Cause in 1970, when the nation needed, as it does even more so now, a bunch of Paul Revere's committed to responsible, fair governing, and to campaign finance reform. And so tonight, in closing, we're recognizing Mort Zuckerman for believing deep in his core, as did President John Kennedy, that the heart of the question, the heart of the question is whether all Americans are to be afforded equal rights and equal opportunities. 
for recognizing Mort for his belief in the imperative for a well-informed public and electorate, and we're recognizing him for his decades of unwavering support for a robust and independent press. Mort, it's a real privilege to introduce my friend, and welcome all of you, Mort Zuckerman, please.